In 1904, an American soldier named Charles Pettit found himself stationed in the mountains of the Philippines. It was there that he met Mora, a bright-eyed Igorot teen with a captivating smile. As Charles and Mora spent time together, they shared dreams of a future together. Charles decided to take a bold step. He asked Mora to accompany him to the United States, promising her a life of opportunity and adventure. After a month, they married. Mora agreed to Charles' proposal, together with other tribe people. They embarked on a long journey across the Pacific Ocean, sailing towards a new life together. However, fate had a different plan in store for them. During the arduous voyage, Mora fell seriously ill, her feverish body racked with pneumonia. Mora's condition worsened day by day. One fateful night, as the ship sailed towards the distant shores of America, Mora's took her last breath in Charles' arms. As the ship docked in the United States, Charles <laughs> carrying Mora's memory with him. What will happen to Mora's corpse? Stay tuned for more Igorot Chronicles. In the mountains of the Philippines, there lived a humble Igorot man named Bulli. His life was simple, who were known for their strong sense and vibrant cultural traditions. One fateful day, an American soldier named Charles arrived. He had heard of Igorot's dances and unique way of life. Mesmerized by their culture, he invites Bulli and 24 other Igorots to journey to the United States, promising them a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Bukasim, Suyak chief, Singwa, the Igorot child, Tugmina, and Mora Igorot girl, Bully E. Igorot man, brother of Mora, and 20 Igorots, filled with curiosity and excitement, accepted the invitation. As they boarded the ship bound for America, on the open deck, they began to dance, the rhythmic beat of gongs and the swaying of their bodies filling the air with a joyful energy. However, his sister Mora had seriously ill, battling pneumonia, suddenly died, they mourned Mora's death. They buy coffin, and travel through trains together with the coffin. What is life expected in USA? In 1904, a group of Igorots embarked on an incredible journey inside an American train bound for Missouri. They were filled with a mixture of excitement, unsure of what life awaited them in this distant promised land. An Igorot chief named Bukasen gathered everyone. He spoke of the opportunities and challenges that lay ahead. The Igorot tribespeople listened attentively, eager to embrace the new world they were entering. Children played inside the train, giggling and exploring the train every nook and cranny. Among them was a little Igorot girl named Togmina, who couldn't contain her tears. She missed her dear friend Mora. Her cries echoed through the train car. Finally, the train arrived at its destination, a bustling train station in Missouri. The Igorots disembarked, their eyes widening in shock and awe at the sights before them. It was a world unlike anything they had ever seen. What is the Igorot saw in Missouri? Is it true that this event will be their life changer?